Hearthstone has a problem right now. A rogue problem. And rather than spending 30 seconds to tell you guys to like this video and subscribe, I'm just going to tell you right now to go ahead and do that because we're jumping right in in today's video because I believe that we need to just watch a video in order to put rogue into context right now. Oh, he's just playing location? Okay. I thought he was not, playing I'm just Draka. not going to say anything. I mean, this is still, I don't need to say this anything. This is still stupid. This is still stupid. It's turn two. Turn two. But I get turn two, two shots ten, of, uh, but, of reconnaissance. So but, come on. Come on, man. I mean, hey, Void that's Gil, by the way. good enough, right? Nice. Oh. How am I going get, to get myself out of this? It's on the screen right now. Easy Nijax. You already know what's happening. Yep, there it is. By the way, another Void Gill. That's kind of insane. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yep. on. Yep, yep, come on. Go, go, come on, come on. Come on, Hellscream. You know, you know the order. Kill you that. know the order, but you just don't want to screw up the order. I think you guys know where this is going. But Play just in case, zero. I'm just going to let the board stay speak for itself, because we also got a shadow, shadow step on top. And what Bro. I want to talk about Think, today okay. is the quote-unquote rogue problem that we are experiencing. tell me that rogue is okay. Because this is turn me two. This is turn- this was both of our turn twos, they both did two explosive plays that resulted in him having over 15-15 in stats, and then I, as a Thief Rogue, happened to hit the exact perfect cards in order to deny that play, on turn two by the way, in order to enable the pro probably the weirdest, wackiest game of Hearthstone that is even possible right now. And well, this led to a lot of interesting takes on Twitter, people being like, oh my god, Rogue is just one class. Uh, and then there's a lot of people that are like, I would, I wish to delete this. I think this is exactly what this guy is saying. I stopped playing Hearthstone since the beginning of this year. Why? This is just one of them. There are plenty of combo. Uh, there's plenty of people that uh, have that same exact sentiment. This gameplay seems uh, core to Rogue's uh, play pattern. Uh, you get what you uh, what you deserve. Very very accurate. But there's other comments like. Uh, Let's see, I'm glad that I don't play anymore. Rogue is balanced, shadow steps and prepares are, are and preparations are not. Uh, I got tagged with a bunch of uh, this, uh, I think he's a, a French streamer that doesn't exactly like Rogue. Rogue is okay, uh, Rogue is okay. three mana X ends it. <laughs> it's funny how it only takes about five minutes to lose uh, when this kind of thing happens, but this is not really what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the most problematic cards we've ever experienced. It is... Shadow Step and Preparation, and I'm putting an asterisk here because, well, my my ending points may not be exactly what you guys imagine. But I want to just talk about what's going on with the, with, the st with the current state of Rogue right now. Because for the past three months, Rogue has been on top of the ladder. Not necessarily uh, in general, because on HS Replay, the deck is, uh, st the class is still ninth. But if you look at stats in Legend, Miracle Rogue is still on top, even though the class had, like... Eight nerfs total to it. And in Miracle itself, I don't think it was that many because there were a lot of Death Rattle cards that got hit. But it is still important to note that Rogue has been nerfed over, I think, or exactly eight times uh, in the past three months, mostly trying to hit Miracle Rogue and these other archetypes. And it is still the best deck in the game, at least at High Legend. But the other thing to keep in mind is that is Shadow Step really good? Or is it the cards that it's supporting being so good that Shadow Step maybe is, I, I don't want to say the victim in this case, because trust me, I don't like Shadow Step as a card, trust me, but I'm going to do uh, my due process here, and I'm going to play Devil's Advocate in the times that it is important. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at most of the cards that Shadow Step was broken with, and come to a conclusion on whether or not it's Shadow Step's fault, or the minion's fault. And if I missed a minion here, feel free to put down a, uh, a minion down below in the comments, because I don't think I got to every single minion, but I believe, you know, a good, a good starting point to talk about what Shadow Step should be is its combination with uh, SI7 Agent. This is like the first card that I can think of that would make sense to run with Shadow Step back in the old days when Rogue was like, you know, still really good with Miracle. Miracle Rogue is just always good. That's just the, uh, the, the lesson at the end of the day. But in any case, SI7 Agent is a fair way to be able to use uh, Shadow Step, especially when you have a minion on the field, you Shadow Step it back, and you're already completing the combo requirements. 100% fine with that sort of, uh, of use. However, a lot of these other cards don't exactly fit this, uh, this definition of fair use, in my opinion. And Cold Light Oracle is a good example of how this kind of started, where, I mean, it's not necessarily Cold Light Oracle's fault that Shadow Step was really good, but this was what began the, uh, the process of Blizzard removing cards because if they're too powerful and limit card design, then the cards gotta go. And I don't think Shadow Step has reached that point yet, but it 
almost reached that point for me personally because I'm getting to the point where every single time I see Shadow Step combos, I am very annoyed. But I will go ahead and spoil some of it for you. It's There's another card that really makes me hate Rogue, which might be the reason why I hate Shadow Step. But in any case, Leroy Jenkins. Literally one of the first cards that was, you know, like nerfed or uh, or changed because of its combination with Cold Blood and Shadow Step. So unfortunately, Leroy going from 4 to 5 is, I mean, it, it probably needed to happen regardless. So is it Shadow Step's fault? No. But this is one card that was absolutely broken with Shadow Step and kind of sets, you know, the precedent of, well, this card is always broken. When are we going to be able to finally have it be balanced sort of thing? So this, this problem goes literally as far back as Leroy Jenkins. And then, if you guys don't remember the good old days of Prince Kelizeth, um, yeah, Shadow Stepping this card was definitely insane to give you a uh, plus two, plus two. And you're starting to see a trend here, which I will point out later, but there's a reason why this card works really well with Prince Kelizeth, and I'll give you a hint, it's not just because of its ability. Then you also have cards like Spectral Pillager. I'm kind of going order from uh, some from some uh, from expansions just to kind of give ourselves a good painting here of why Shadow Step is always pointed to. But this card really didn't see that much play. But later on in Hearthstone's uh, expansion cycle, uh, Spectral Sp Spectral Pillager became extremely good. Uh, not just because of Shadow Step, but because of mana cheating in general. So this is kind of to give an example of what happens when mana cheating is so good that they literally have to change the card entirely because Rogue's class identity cheats so much mana that 6 mana is, first of all, not too expensive and wild because you have a uh, combination of Shark and Scabs. But the effect itself literally needed to be changed because going face with this is just way too good nowadays. And now to continue the tread... This is probably where a lot of people really started to hate Shadow Step was because of the caverns below. This card came back several times, even when being nerfed to five minions. And it's mostly because when you have, you know, charge minions being five fives that you can Shadow Step for zero, now we're starting to really see the problem that this card can enable because zero mana interactions with Shadow Step are really where people start to get very, very annoyed, especially when five damage becomes 15 damage for literally zero mana. So, a lot of people were not liking Quest Rogue for that, and Quest Rogue did get nerfed, uh, because, again, with, with South Sea Deckhands, as well being in the deck, you had four minions that were super easy to deal damage with, and with Shadow Step, you just had your absolute killer combo. And then you have Sonya Shadow Dancer that was introduced later uh, in, in set expansions in order to really drive the power up of this deck. And it's just, it's insane how this card was even printed in the first place. And then you have later on in the year, we have Colt and Fight. Not nearly as insane. This is like the first card on this list where it's not like game winning, but it can have ways of being absolutely uh, soul crushing against decks that want to play spells or want to try and counteract. This is also a way to counter Shadow Step. So that's sort of funny as well, if you think about it in that perspective. But overall, this is one of the weaker cards on this list, even though it is somewhat powerful, depending on what decks you go up against. Very dependent on the meta, by the way. But then you have another card that came along, Vicious Scalehide, which really put things in, you know, favor for Rogue, because the only thing that Quest Rogue was really missing was, well, healing. And getting a 4-4 four, four for healing, because this was when it was nerfed to 4-4s, four, it was still really good with Shadow Step, because you return it back to the hand, it costs 0 mana, starting to see a trend here, and it, 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 it puts decks over the edge, because, oh my god, sh like, Shadow Step at this was extremely frustrating, especially when combination with, uh, with Sonya. Uh, but now that we're out of the Quest Rogue territory, because we already know that that deck is busted, we also have Tez Greymane that works really well in this meta. We're starting to, to talk about this meta a little bit more. And uh, Tez, Tez Greymane with Shadow Step can obviously be insane with, uh, with Thief Rogue, bringing back every single card that you played. However, there is an important thing to note here, and I will have someone else's words that, that talks with data to uh, talk about this card more so than me, but this card is one of the weaker cards with Shadow Step because if you do have a card that deals like massive AoE, then this doesn't really work very well in Shadow Step and it would be better to use Shadow Step to get an additional minion off of the Tess versus getting Tess off of the min- or getting uh, another Tess off of Shadow Step. You get what I'm trying to say. Sometimes you can use Shadow Step on a card that doesn't exist in your class and you get two copies of it when you play Tess. Pretty useful use. Then you have the Lackeys. Uh, you had Lackeys come out during Rise of Shadows, and uh, I don't really know if a lot of people remember this, but I particularly was not fond of Shadow Step with Cobalt Lackey, or with a bunch of the value options that were available. Was Rogue absolutely busted during those times? Yes. Yes, they were. But it wasn't because of Shadow Step. It was, be it was because of Galakron and a bunch of other cards making, you know, insane 
swing turn possibilities with, you know, six mana cards becoming zero mana. And I believe Bran was still a part of that meta back in uh, Rise of Shadows. So, good lord was that was that an insane time for Hearthstone. And now, we're getting a little bit more into today's Hearthstone. Uh, one of the most recent cards that Shadow Step was really good with was Astalor. Astalor, absolutely insane at, uh, at Mana Thirst 4. And it's not because you really cared about... Uh, Getting the value of the uh, of the extra Astalor in, in your hand, even though that was kind of useful, like getting these extra copies. It was more so just about dealing two damage at the right time, so that way on turn four, you would absolutely take over the game state, and there would be no way for your opponent to deal with it, unless they specifically were countering your deck. This is something that's not all too important, but Astalor did get changed. It, it did go from Mana Thirst 5, uh, and the same thing with the 5 mana Astalor went to Mana Thirst uh, 8. Because it was really good, and not just because it was really good in Rogue, but just because it was really good in general. But Rogues were really the class that were pushing this uh, this card to its limits. And then you have cards that come out of Thief Rogue because of uh, Reconnaissance, like Nijax Hexen, like we literally just saw in today's video. Where when this card with Shadow Step gets played, holy crap, it's just literally a Tomb Mana Mind Control. Tomb Mana Mind Control, by the way. Absolutely insane. Maybe this talks more about, you know, Reconnaissance in general. More so than the death rattle minions that are possible. But another card I hate to see in Thief Rogue is Gigafin. Because when they play Gigafin in the Shadow Step, it's like, what the hell? Like, this card's supposed to have a a, a, a downside. It's supposed to have a weakness. And now in Rogue, it absolutely gets, you know, it doesn't have that weakness anymore. And I just get my entire board wiped. They can play Reconnaissance or Tess in order to bring back a gigantic board with this minion that has no, down, has no downsides. And it's just like, I would have loved it. I would have loved it. If Shadow Step would have been out of the core set, and we would have had a year to see if Rogue could survive without Shadow Step. But I am actually here to tell you guys right now that Shadow Step is important to the game. I'm actually going to defend Shadow Step. You guys are not going to believe this, but there's two reasons why I'm going to defend Shadow Step. One, it gave us one of the greatest memes in Hearthstone history. It's because he, it's simple. I get Barnes in my opening hand. I play Barnes, summon the Blood of the Ancient One, bring him back, put him back in, summon. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's the Blood of the Ancient. One. Hello there. And then at the end of my turn, I can summon the Dancient One. <laughs> if you guys don't know this video, I don't know where you've been where you've been sleeping because this is like the like the number one most memed video in all of Hearthstone. But now that I've got the joke out of the way, let's go ahead and go to the not fun, legitimate reason. But in order to talk about this, uh, I actually need to pull up a conversation that I had with Zacco. So let me go ahead and put this over here because I'm probably going to have to edit this part of the video and make this a little bit larger. However, Zacco had some very good points that I feel like need to be addressed because Shadow Step seems to be more of the card that gets a lot of the flack when really it's the minions... Uh, that Shadow Step enables that makes it absolutely uh, annoying and unplayable, in my opinion. But this conversation with Vicious Syndicate reporter Zacco really put things in perspective in a way that I don't think I could have been able to explain, so I'm just going to go ahead and read word for word how our conversation went. Because I decided to DM three different people, and two of them responded back, and I was pretty much asking, yo, I'm making a list of cards that Shadow Step has broken. Using it for an upcoming video, I was wondering if there was any cards you would think were so OP that it would be a sin not to include them. Not gonna lie, I asked uh, Jespin, and he gave me uh, he gave me Neophyte as well as Prince uh, Kelazeth, because I just I forgot about them. Sometimes I forget about cards. But you wanna know what Zacco said? Zacco said the complete opposite of what I was uh, I was expecting. Easy. The answer is zero because Step has never been OP ever, and I'm not being ironic. The card has ranged from good to fringe to bait throughout history. And a lot of you are probably looking at this fuming, uh, you know, fuming at the ears, being like, there's no way that Zacco is serious. The guy that looks at all of the data is saying that Miracle Rogue is apparently a fun and balanced deck. Let's see where he's going with this. I was like, hot damn, this is not the answer I was expecting. And if you guys were expecting this, I know that you're lying. But then he goes on to clarify his point, and I love everything that he, uh, I, I, lo I love that he took the time. To respond to this so zacco if you're watching huge thank you for uh for your time buddy uh but there's a there's a reason why it was nerfed in the most recent uh nerf class in the game's history i'm sorry in the most nerf class in the game's history i'm reading this terribly there's 
There is a reason it was never nerfed in the most nerfed class in the game's history. Think of how many rogue cards got nerfed from classic times. Step survived because it was simply just not OP. The whole step OP narrative is, I think he said shit, or, or not taken seriously. I don't remember exactly what he said here. Uh, there's no fact, uh, factual evidence backing it up. It's just rogue OP and blizzard are rogue mains. Don't get me wrong, it's a good card, it's one of the best uh, one of the best cards in current Miracle Rogue, but it is also one of the weakest cards in Thief Rogue, if you remember that example that I gave you with Tess Greymane earlier. One of the reasons why it's pretty weak in that class. However, don't talk about my jacks. We, we don't talk about my jacks. Uh, Step in the current Miracle Rogue is a top 5 card in the deck, and I think uh, I can count with one hand the amount of time Step was a top 5 card in the deck. All great stuff, good uh, counterpoints. Uh, yeah, I'd compare it to Nourish. Nourish uh, should have never been nourished in the first. Uh, should have never been nerfed in the first place. Same with the quality, and I would tend to agree. These are really good examples of how this looks in other classes, to where like you know, Nourish at six mana. Let's be honest, it was unplayable. It was absolutely unplayable. When they made a quality four mana, it, ma it made Paladin unplayable for the longest time. And if we were to nerf Step in any capacity, there might be a similar situation to where. It's just not going to be good enough to where if you discount it by one, you're not going to have those big explosive turns that, you know, justify putting such a card in your deck. Because let's be honest, if you don't have a good minion with Shadow Step, it's literally just a dead card that you never want to use on minions because you want to go for the board. The battle cry has got to be able to justify how good Shadow Step is in order, to, in order to put it into the deck. Like, you can't just have a bunch of zero cards cards that don't do anything, even though that would be how a lot of people want zero cost cards uh, to interact. But I decided to, you know, play a little Devil's Advocate because I don't like Rogue right now. Overall, I feel like Rogue feels awful to play against when you uh, when it does these insane turns so early. Similar to what Combo Druid was in Wild with Star Aligner, the well, combo itself isn't the problem. It's how early these explosive non-games can be. But I would argue it's less Shadow Step and more the minions that enable it. And, th and in this meta, it's because of Mailbox Dancer and Miracle Rogue at least. Or kind of Astalore since the nerf. But then Zacco was just like, you know, like the... Like, these cards are the real reason why Shadow Step is really, really freaking annoying right now. And also the location, but I, I just have these right now. The location is also very annoying, but now that the stealth is off of it, it's a little bit easier to counteract it. But it's still insane that you can possibly have a 10-10 minion by turn 2 because you played your entire hand. But Mailbox Dancer is rotating out. That is very good news because this card has been kind of running rampant with the amount of different scam decks that it has enabled. Not just this deck, for example, but... um. Uh, big spell mage with Belinda and uh, the, the the Naga that switches spell costs. That's really, really good. And then Draka, I think this card is not going to be that good once we have this card rotate out. But if there's something that fills the spot of a two mana card that I can just shadow step, get a bunch of value out of, play a bunch of zero mana cards in order to play a gigantic Draka weapon, then this card is still going to be problematic, and I'm still going to be scared of what Rogue can do with the combination of Shadow Step, Zero Mana Cards, and Necro Lord Draka. Shadow Step, to, to end this video very, very plainly, I don't believe is actually the problem. It's all the cards that surround it, unfortunately, and I, I know a lot of people aren't going to be very happy with the outcome of this video because a lot of people want to point at Shadow Step and be like, unplayable card, or I'm sorry, I, I want this card to be unplayable. I don't want it in the set. I want it rotated. I'm so sick of seeing this card, and trust me, I am sick of seeing it too. I play a top legend all the time, and I can tell you right now, I'm tired of, of Miracle Rogues and Thief Rogues finding the perfect answers every single time. And the last time I played I played Thief Rogue, I literally went 100% win rate on stream with it after like six or seven games or something like that. So Rogue is still very, very good right now. However, I really don't believe that it's Shadow Step's fault. It's all the other cards that are surrounding it, and Rogue has a lot of mana cheating and a lot of scams that surround it. So the fact that it has something else that can consistently mana cheat the cards that it wants to kind of brings up, it, it kind of puts things in perspective on how good these other cards are and not just Shadow Step. I believe I'm going to use the words, of, or I'm going to paraphrase the words of Jay Alexander, but the reason why Shadow Step has never been nerfed and why he believes it never will be nerfed is because it's not the card that makes the world go round in Rogue. It's just a good support, a good enabler, and I hate to admit it, Jay Alex, you win this one, but it does make Rogue fun. I cannot counter. I, I cannot counter that point at all because I am the proponent of the uh, the mindset that the more cards that you play in a turn, not just uh, not just you know in Miracle Rogue or just like doing it by turn three. I I love APM decks, so I believe that the more cards that you play, the more fun you're gonna have in Hearthstone. And well, Shadow Step is two for one, baby. 
And that does uh, add a lot of fun into the game. But I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because I do have a lot of rogue wins. I tend to enjoy rogue more times than not. But in this past three months of Hearthstone, I'm sick of the flavor. I would like something to change. And I'm really hoping that this core set will bring something new to the game. But most importantly, what do you guys think about rogue? Is it too broken? Do you think that it just needs to be stomped into the ground and just be the worst class for an expansion because it's just been on top for so long? But you, if you're saying that, you need to admit your bias and you need to admit that you just don't like rogue because that is fine. You cannot like the class. What is not okay and what I hopefully will... I'm going to drill this into a lot of people's heads uh, with, with this last statement. But... I do not like it when people are like, nerf this card, nerf this card, nerf this card, simply because they just don't like it. I believe if you want to try and get a card nerfed, or if you're going to campaign for it, you better have, like, some stats, and you better have, like, a specific reason why the card needs to be nerfed, because the last thing that we want is to nerf a card that's going to legitimately make people leave the game. However... Counterpoint to that, a lot of people are leaving the game right now because Rogue is so frustrating, but again, I don't believe it's Shadow Step's fault. But in any case, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and shut up and end this video because it's been going on for about 20 minutes now. Uh, go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more content like this, and we'll see you for the next video.